today we're going to show you how to replace the flow control sensor and we've ordered our flow control sensor box but hopefully prior to you ordering this you will have checked the inlet cold water screen to make sure it's not clogged up with any debris causing it not to get any water flow through the impeller in the flow sensor making your unit not fire but just in case you didn't do that let's let's try to save you another step pull out your instructions that's come in your box here and it tells you exactly what we're talking about please verify the inlet water strainer is installed on the unit and is clear of debris before installing the time valve failure to do so voids the warranty and may cause irreversible damage to the unit so they're really warning you trying to help you so guess what all you have to do is come over to the heater, shut your cold water off, your hot water outlet, turn your fuel off, unplug the unit like we've done. We can drain it down, which we've already drained the unit down in a video. If you wanted to see how it's done, popping this loose, putting a couple towels, that'll drain the water out of it. So we know that part already. Come out back out here, remove this with your wrench or crescent wrench, pull the strainer out, clean it, which you wouldn't believe the trash that's in the water lines today, it goes right to that strainer. That might be your culprit. You might save yourself a lot of headache changing this little valve out. So anyways, we know ours is good. We're not gonna remove it to show you what we're gonna do, but we are gonna show you now how to replace this part. Okay, very simple. We're gonna start up here. I'm gonna, it seems like if you get this pigtail for the display board out of the way, it kind of drops it a little lower and it's not sitting here dangling it'll actually rest a little better you've probably noticed that in the videos uh, basically we're going to come over here and look at this right here i've got to take a couple zip ties loose or at least one here real quick and be able to get it out of the way so make sure you have your zip ties handy you can get those at your auto parts store with that lube and a little pick to pull the the o-rings loose don't cut any wires Dropping that out of our way there real quick. Very simple process. You can come right in here and we're gonna remove this clip right here. If you wanted to, you can do this one, get this pipe here out of your way, or you can take the time and just pull the one at the top. I've, I've got my screwdriver that we need. I was, I was trying to think about what's actually happening on this. Normally you can just pull this little clip off, but if the screw is sticking down and it's in the way adhering you from being able to pull that clip you're going to just have to pull the screw up so that's what we're going to do in this case i'm just going to put my gloves back on here so i can protect my hands but anyways let's pull this screw right here up just a little bit i don't, I don't even have to take it out all the way just getting it up enough to where it looks like that thing will pass by it so let's try this again tight little cabinet here. This one has been difficult here, so I'm gonna take this screw up out of the way. I'm gonna get this long screwdriver in the toolbox in there. Hang tight right there, keep watching the video, getting this up out of the way, and worst case scenario, if you had to pull it up out of the way. But I'm just going to remove all four of those pieces down there. I'm going to get my hand on it. All right. Egg. All right. Let's see if I can get it in here again. get that pipe out of my way so there's that one pull that out it's gonna rotate that down out of the way for a second give me a little bit more hand room maybe I'm gonna rotate that so I get the fingers on it back here I did it okay a little bit of water not ever killed anybody all right got a couple little wires we're gonna unplug on our sensor here 
and right there. All right, that's our old one. This is our new one. And they've even sent us the little sensor for that piece there. They give us two new clips, two new uh, O-rings. I'm going to take the old valve and I'm just going to get it out of the way so we make sure we don't get it mixed up with our new one. Um, I want to replace these O-rings. Very simple. One's a large one, one's a small one. You have a little diagram here that shows you but it doesn't really explain to you like it did on the one as far as what the uh, O-ring kit would do. So knowing what we have, we have this one, we can match it up with the size, take it off. We also have the one that's right here. We can remove it if you have the tools, we'll size it. So let's start with the top one. We'll remove it out of the way. Kind of just grab a hold of it. These little picks right here, I'm telling you, you can buy a four pack of all different styles at the auto parts store. It's kind of like used for gaskets and O-rings and such like this. It makes life a lot easier, especially if you don't have gloves on on this part so you can actually get a hold of it. Okay, see there? We have our example O-ring and you can see that that's the larger one. That's, you can see it right off the bat. I'm gonna put a little bit of this lube on my glove. Throw the cap around there. All right, pretty simple so far. I would say I'm not breaking out of sweat, but we are having fun here. All right, throw a little lube on it there. I've got this thing set in my hand. I wanna make sure I don't drop it, get crud all over it, so. There it is, see how simple that was? I'm just gonna rub that lube around it just to make sure when we put that valve back on, we don't cause any damage to the O-ring. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to this part. I'm just gonna go back to rewiring it in the reverse order, have my big clip. I know it's in there. Got this medium one right here. That's good. Then a little one. That one goes that way. Pretty easy to match up if you pay attention to the little rib. That little thing locks on them, so you can't really put them in backwards, it won't let you. Pretty smart people there at IntelliHot trying to make it so simple to fix any problem. But if you do a, a, a good job about it, see you can't even put the pipe on the wrong way. We have to put the right size. If you do a good job and you install them right, you're not gonna have a lot of problems. This is just, you know, regular maintenance things as far as seal, stuff like that. It just has to be done periodically. Order the kits. You're gonna get the new clips, stuff like that. Let's see how easy it is to put this one on. Hey, that's a lot better. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go and replace the O-ring on the end of our hose here real quick. Got our little tool. We know it's the other O-ring, the smaller one. The lube here. We have a video already showing you how to change the O-ring on the bottom, draining the unit and all this, but I'm just trying to go through all the steps here so you understand that there is a difference. Rub that on there. We've bent this up a little bit. You can put it right back into place, especially if you flip that around in the right area. So guess what? Next time you put this in though, let's put the part in the right area so we can hook our hose up to it. All right, back on with the clip. I'm not gonna flat those screws right yet, I will put them on. But basically, to finish this up, we have to be able to install this line right here, back on here. As long as you don't fight and start bending the shape of this thing up too much, you'll be able to go right back into place. Hopefully, that feels like it right there. So now I'm just gonna drop this clip right in here in the top and push it together. Now, as far as that goes, you know, we've undone this wire right here. We gotta make sure we put our display control panel back up. We're gonna plug our pigtail back in here. 
make sure we have power. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those four screws up, but other than that, as far as the install, that is actually pretty simple. We just figured it out together. Take them screws, raise them up a little bit so that clip will have room to expand and come around. But have a good day. If you need the guys from uh, guys and girls from IntelliHot, give them a shout. If you run into problems like that, they'll probably be more than happy to talk to you, tell you what they know to do to fix it. Thank you.